What's up guys, welcome back to Pop Culture Entertainment once again, and I'm back again, this is my first official video of 2021, that nice nightmare here is gone now, and hopefully this will be a better one. Um, I finally have my camera set up, so, or my microphone, so hopefully this one should sound better than just my hey I'm back video, and today I'm bringing back Pop Culture Reviews, um, I haven't done one of these in a while, but they're my most popular videos, and I thought I should make another one, um, as I recently did a Lego haul. So, uh, today here I have the Spider-Man and Ghost Rider vs. Carnage set. So, uh, yeah, it got this off Amazon today, and I thought it was cool, and I thought, I like Spider-Man, I'll make a reaction off of it, and review it for you guys, because you guys really like that for whatever reason. Um, anyway, I'm gonna start the, uh, actually, we're gonna look at the box first, and then we'll start building it. Alright, then, so we look at the front of the box, Marvel Spider-Man logo, and we have to show that, obviously. Um, the title is Spider-Man and Ghost Rider vs. Carnage, pretty cool looking set. Um, it shows a cool action scene with Ghost Rider in his car on the front, Spider-Man swinging over top at Carnage. Um, it, the, it comes with three minifigures, Carnage, Ghost Rider, and Spider-Man, as we can see on the front. Boring stuff we don't really care about on the side. Look at the back, we can get another cool look at the set before we build it. And nothing very interesting on the top or bottom, so I think we can just start building this, guys. Um, I'm going to start a time lapse of me building it, and... Yeah, um, I'll post that now. Alright, now that I'm done building, we can take a look at it. Um, before we start with the car, I'd like to take a look at the minifigures. Um, we'll start with Spider-Man. Um, it's kind of just Spider-Man. Um, I like this minifigure, it looks kind of cool. Something I really like about the recent Spider-Man sets is that they're also like, actually giving him arm printing. to give him that web design, which I think looks really good. Uh, if you, oh yeah, you can see there. Um, no leg printing, but his legs are usually just blue anyway. Um, uh, yeah, that's really it. It comes with these power blasts. He's only supposed to hold one at a time, but he looks fine with two. Um, if you don't know how these work, I'm just gonna show you. There's this little, little tab here, basically. So you can just push on that. Ah, if his hand wouldn't turn. And you push down on it, and it shoots off. Um, they come with a lot of Spider-Man and other Marvel sets as just power blasts for characters like Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, etc. But, yep, that's basically it. Um, the next minifigure is Ghost Rider, who looks really cool. Um, I don't know why, why, but it's just really cool to me. I like his, I really like his face. It's like a, looks more metal than the normal bone look. He's kind of got his classic racer outfit on anyway. Um, and the cool headpiece they use for other Ghost Raiders comes back for this. And it looks really good. So, they sh this is a really cool head design. 
And then, probably my favorite minifigure is Carnage. Classic Spider-Man villain is kind of like the son of Venom. Not really, but sort of. Yeah, anyway, um, Red Venom. This uses the kind of Outrider piece they introduced in the Infinity War sets that they've also been using for, like, Spider-Man and, the, I mean, Iron Spider and even some Doc Ock ones I know they used it for. But they use it here for the tendrils of just his weird goop tendrils on his back, which looks really cool. Um, even just this tendril piece, taking a look at that, that's such a unique shape. It's really cool looking. Alright, done with that. We can look at the main build here. This is, oh, so yes, this is Ghost Rider's car. Um, I don't know specifically what car it's supposed to be, but it's really cool looking. Um, it's definitely some kind of racing car. It has, like, bigger wheels in the back, which makes it look like it's down forward. It's really cool. And then the front of his grill, um, looks nice too. I really like how this looks. It was a weird kind of build, but in the end it looks really cool. And then, like, this engine sticking out the top it looks really cool with, like, kind of the flaming things but then they're also stud shooters so you just push down on the top here please don't fly away thank you it shoots off so that's kind of cool it's kind of like a two-in-one design um now this is what the car normally looks like but the instructions also show this um basically you just take off a couple of these little slope pieces from the side and back and you put in some of these other cool Power Blast pieces they've had recently. Um, once again, probably most notably from like Iron Man and Doctor Strange Power Blasts. Um, from the Infinity War and Endgame sets, probably the place you would know them from. Um, you just add them on and you add some of these cool fire designs over the wheels. And it becomes much more of Ghost Rider's car. Where instead of just regular car, it's just car on fire. Um, which looks really cool. Um, it So the instructions show how to add these ones on, but also comes with these other two. So also you could also use any of these pieces for if you wanted to. Just some fire blast. Whoa, his hands are really stiff. Fire blast attack if he wants to. I don't know. It's up to you. Also, you can obviously take off the hood of the car right here. Him into minifigure driving position. Let's push him down to the bottom. Put him in there like that. Put the hood back on, and now he's driving the car. And he can chase Carnage for whatever reason he's doing with Spider Man. You can just put them on top. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all you guys want to see. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. More coming soon.